one, how it feels to be running on a road course again, and um, two, how are you feeling about your season this far now that you've had a few races under your belt? Yep, afternoon everyone. Yeah, it's been um, pretty cool prep this week, very different again to be turning right, I guess. So um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Sick of the simulator and ready to drive a real car. But um, yeah, just excited to see what it feels like. The Xfinity car is going to be a big challenge. And then the Cup car kind of feels a bit more normal, but um, yeah, going to have to relearn it again. But, yeah, excited. Season's been going well so far. The results are pretty um, above what I thought I'd be. So um, yeah, it's been pleasantly surprising. And But yeah, just mainly really enjoying myself. All right, we'll open it up to questions. We'll start right up here with Bob. Fox Sports. When you were here in supercars, it was a different brand. You may have run the full course. Did you um, to explain what's different in an Xfinity Cup car here versus supercar? Yeah, so we raced here in 2013, and at the last bit of the S's where there's a double right, we turned left and did like a little chicane with a jump and joined the back straight. So I missed uh, you know, those corners out the back. But really, the surface is very weathered in a lot of corners. It's a lot looks a lot slippery now than it did back then, apart from obviously the bits where they've just resealed. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to feel what it's like, but I think these cars will drive very different to the supercars then. Let's go to Dusty. Dusty, something like these, you mentioned the simulator. Uh, how much yep. additional preparation have you put into this weekend, given it's the first time you've flown double duty? I guess, yeah, just double, you know, and then I did a little bit at track house on the static sim, just going back and forth, mainly on the gear shifting. Just going from sequential back to age pattern just to not make mistakes. You know, we've seen guys do that in the past. But I think the gears and the shift points are quite different, so shouldn't have any problem there. But um, yeah, it's not, not going to be easy. Jerry Jordan could be captured that in January. He told some of us that this was all new, it was fun, it was great. Is, is it still that? Is it still fun for you? You're still loving it and, and, and liking it over here? I love that at the moment it's something different every week and I'm just learning so much and every stage in the races so far I keep getting better and get to the end of the race and go, oh, I wish I could start that again knowing what I do now. So second half of the year is going to be good going back to the tracks I already know but yeah it's just the prep is so intense when it's something you don't know and especially this week doing both classes having to watch two races, two sets of onboards and understand the cars is probably going to be the biggest thing. And, I had a good chat with Marcus Ambrose last night and he said the Xfinity car will be unlike anything I've ever driven, the way it breaks and the way the, the rear end works. So um, it's probably similar, he said, to the cup cars he was racing. So um, hopefully those things help and helps me speed up the learning process. We'll go right up here and then to Jeff Luck. As is you, uh, Tanner Marler with Front Stretch. When you kind of signed on for this season, were these some dates that you had circled just from the get-go? Uh, I don't know. I was more excited about the Opals because it's learning. I just know that I'll be good here and at these tracks. You know, I've got great teams, two awesome weather tech tomorrows, and you know, they I got good equipment. There's no excuses to not do well at these races. So I've still gone hard with my preparation, but. Yeah, really the ovals are my focus. That's what I've got to learn to make sure I'm ready when I'm in the Cup Series next year. But yeah, these weekends just got to make sure I have fun and do well. Uh, Jeff Buck from The Athletic. How are you getting on with Almondinger so far? You guys are probably going to be you know, head-to-head -head at these road courses this year. Uh, are you looking forward to those battles? Yeah, it's been really good so far. We haven't had too many races on track, but um, everything I've asked him, he's been open and you know, he's obviously at the top of his game. And, Pretty impressive in those cars and on the road courses here as well. So, learned a lot from him watching him on the sim stuff, and yeah, look forward to battling him on track too. Uh, hopefully, we push each other forward and you know, try and beat everyone else before we beat ourselves. We'll go right back there. Hello, SVG. Trey Campbell here for iHeart. Um, so, first question, I guess, does this track remind you of any of the tracks you race in Australia? And um, do you guys think you've exceeded your expectations this season in the Xfinity Series? Uh, just the track limit. The track limits are crazy here. So it's so new to me to just open the wheel mid corner and drive off the track. So that's taken a lot of adjusting to get used to that mindset. And then I was practicing on the sim not cutting. They changed the rules about not being able to cut the corners. And then 
I saw today they've gone back on it. So yeah, it's pretty um, pretty interesting, the rules here. Uh, we normally have big curves, so we can't cut the corners. So I think it'll be a bit difficult, especially when you're following someone closely to be able to judge the curves. So that'll take a bit of learning, but um, yeah, just watching the race is crazy. The guys are off the track more than they're on it, but that's the normal there, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it looks fun. Stuff, uh, Shane, could you go into more, into more about you know the race we did here ten years ago with the supercars and how that's going to differ? What's the changes there are? You know, doing with doing the similar to the Xfinity, you know, the Xfinity car, especially with you know the track limits in Turn One. Yeah, so when we came here, we did four sprint races. I think they were twenty laps or something like that of the short track. So that's the biggest thing, the race length. I think it's Sunday's race is probably three hours or three and a half hours. That's probably the, the toughest thing, how long these races go for. And then the stages, understanding that, you know, deciding in Xfinity, especially when to go for stage points or when to, to pit, that's kind of new to me as well, understanding how how that works. I think that kind of rules the race and where you end up placing. So yeah, I got a lot to learn and understand there, but um, yeah, probably just driving, trying to follow someone and learn how much track you can use. And then now that you're running the full-time Xfinity schedule, Got super speedways, short tracks, you know, longer ovals, 1.5 milers, and road courses, kind of all interspersed in there. Does kind of having like every single thing be different and not having everything in a row, does that kind of, I guess, mess with the rhythm for someone that's, you know, just starting to do this? Uh, no, variety's been good. I just wish I got more laps at Vegas, but I really enjoyed Phoenix. I had some great battles with people. Um, there was one guy. Uh, Anthony Alfredo, we had an awesome battle. We were too wide for so many laps, and it was bloody annoying because we were the same speed. I couldn't get away from him, but it was, you know, we were slowing each other up, but it was so much fun, you know, just watching each other over. And yeah, we had an awesome race. So yeah, that kind of stuff. I'm really enjoying learning other guys and, and how they race, and mostly everyone's been pretty good. Thank you. Do we have any final questions? This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me, visit funstretch.com for more racing content.